So not liking woke stuff in video games means you're a gaming Karen? Is that correct? The Gamer 23? 23? Let's get into it. What is up, guys? It's your boy Hercules, and we are back at it again. That is right. The Gamer 2020, the Gamer 2323 said that people who have an issue with the MJ side missions and with this woke nonsense in Spider-Man 2 calling it woke, that they are gaming Karens. Now, I believe some of it does make sense. Because you know there are people out there that just hate the game for no for no other reason. They're probably an Xbox fan and they, they're going to hate the game because they can't play it, which is fine. I understand that. It's still, to me, that's not a gaming Karen. Now, does the game Spider-Man 2 have some woke bullshit in there? Yes. Thank God it's only on the side missions. Now, if you want to come at me and say, well, why do you care about it being in the video game? It's some woke stuff. Why do you, why do you care? The reason why I care is because look at look what they did for the Middle, Middle Eastern people. They removed all those virtual singling in the game, all that woke nonsense. They removed all that stuff, all those pride flags. They removed all of it. So if they really believe in all that, guess what? Hey, Middle Eastern, you don't want the you want us to remove all that stuff? Nah. Either you buy the game how it is, or you don't get the game. No, no, no. That's not what they did. They removed it. So that is why this whole woke nonsense is just laughable. It's just tiring. But they continue to do it because. Let's be honest, a lot of the people that own Sony, own all these gaming industries that are shareholders, they want you. They want to force it down your face. They want to force it down your brain, force it down your throat because they. this is how uh, a lot of these companies get loans and stuff like that. They have to meet these, uh, they have to meet these uh uh, what is it? These quotes, these quotas, or whatever they call it. Like you gotta meet these uh, certain missions here and here. Uh, you need to have people of diversity of different color. That is why they put stuff like that. Now, again, like I said, do I think Spider-Man Two is a woke game all the way? No, it's not a woke game all the way. But like I said, the some side missions, it has woke elements. It's that simple. Do people hate the MJ missions? Yes. But guess what? It's not because they're misogynist. It's because they want to play as Spider-Man. They don't want to play as Mary Jane. Sure, it only takes about less than maybe 30 minutes to pass the MJ missions. Or maybe even less than that, because I think I passed it like in 15 minutes. It's that simple, but hey, I understand why people hate it. Aside from that, um, I think gaming Karens, yes, there are some gaming Karens in the world, just like there is in every other aspect. You, the gamer 2323, could be considered a gaming Karen. Because let's be honest, you were crying for that armor core. You were crying. You were calling it out. You didn't even play it. And then when you finally played it, come on, man. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. But I'll leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. I just leveled up. I thank God. Straight from the mud. Now it's time to get the pie. Sweat, tears, and blood. You can see it in my eyes. My future's turning up.